Hey guys, I'm Siobhan, first year medical resident. Tonight's Friday night, and no, I'm not heading out with friends. Instead, I'm staying here and planning, packing, and getting myself organized for my call shift tomorrow. So, Saturday morning, I'm in the hospital and have to have stuff until Sunday morning. So, stick with me, keep me company, <laughs> and um, I'll show you what I end up packing and putting into my bag. most important thing to pack is food. In the middle of the night, honestly, you can get so hungry and that little bit of food that you have in your bag can just get you to focus and stay awake. Um, also, in some of our hospitals, uh, the cafeteria and our Tim Hortons in Canada <laughs> um, actually closes. So if you don't have something, you're relying on vending machine food, which is no fun. So my routine every night before I have a call shift is to make some lunch. So I have um, some rice noodles with um, some vegetables and tuna in it. So we've got, you know, staying healthy. Got some protein in there. I've got an apple to keep the doctor away. <laughs> um, got some nuts. They happen to have already been in a bag, so I just figured I'd toss them in. And protein bars because they can fit in my bag and I can have them at a moment's notice because there isn't always time. Oh, and actually making sure I have two spoons. And this might seem very trivial, but if you only bring one spoon and then you have to have two meals and then you have a dirty spoon for the second meal, it's just disheartening when you're already feeling tired and stuff. So little things make a big difference to me anyway. <laughs> Next, clean pair of scrubs. You never know what's gonna happen, things can get messy and you know you don't want to be stuck in that all night. Also with clothes, I like to have a zip up so I can put it on and feel warm and again middle of the night when you get tired, I don't know about you guys, but I get really cold when I get tired. Next are things that I have with me all the time when I'm in the hospital anyway. So need my stethoscope of course. Um Gotta have that trusty name tags. Always make sure I have a good working pen. And actually, I spend so long making sure it's one that has a clip because then it can fit on my lanyard. So, just like this. Honestly, that little detail um, is a lifesaver for me. And then four other kind of mediocre pens. But I'm probably gonna need them. And I'll probably lose three. And then someone's gonna say, I don't have a pen. So at least I can give them one. So I always bring a whole bunch of extra pens. Then the attachment for my brain. So my phone is recording me right now. So if it wasn't, I'd be packing that because that's a huge resource. I'll make another video and show you the different apps and stuff that I use on call or during the day. But I also actually keep some hard copies. One, because what if my phone dies, which I know, okay, I do bring a charger and a pretty charger, which is pink so that it, I know which one's mine because they're often a whole bunch in the call rooms and that I, I know mine's the pink one. Anyway, so what if I lose this or, you know, my phone drops in the toilet or just spontaneously combusts and I don't have it anymore. So I would be freaking out. But I always have these and they're a lifesaver for me. One of them is pocket medicine. The best thing to do is to be able to look things up quickly because no one really expects you to know everything, but you need to know where to find the information. So this is such a good resource. And my school actually puts out this book, um, which is actually is also excellent. So I sort of use a combination of the two of them and carry them around with me all the time. Small but mighty, I need to have my lip balm. <laughs> it gets so dry and I'm always so happy when I'm talking to a patient and not licking my lips because that's not fun. Then, if I actually have a little bit of downtime, fingers crossed, I'm always hoping for that, um, then I like to bring my headphones and I like to listen to a little bit of music if it's during the day, um, maybe sometimes even watch, you know, five minutes of uh, Netflix 
hasn't happened in residency yet. I did that in med school a little bit, um, but it just makes me feel like there's hope that it might happen. So I do pack everything into a big bag, but I also bring this little bag, and this is the one that I carry around on the wards with me. So I can put those books into it, all my pens, a snack, all that kind of stuff. So I have it with me all the time. Um, and I also have this little little keychain on it, and it was it was um, part of our graduation gift from our grad committee. So it's basically a little good luck charm on call. It's been working for me so far. So, and of course, can't forget the pager. So I clip it on onto my bag. So when I'm walking around with it, it's on me at all times. And I actually I clip it on upside down, um, so that when it actually goes off, I don't have to turn it around. I can just pick it up and read it like that. So little trip, little tip, not trick, tip or trick, trip. <laughs> so. There we go, that's what I bring in a nutshell. So now I just have to pack it all into my giant black bag. It's not glamorous, but it's something that I feel like isn't gonna get stolen in the hospital and I can wipe it down easily if things get dirty. So this is my call bag, only my call bag. Um, yeah, so just pack it up. Alright, there I go. <laughs> my giant bag, ready to take me through my call shift. And now the best and maybe the most important thing to do in preparation is to actually go and get a really, really good night's sleep and make sure to set your alarm so you actually make it there on time. So, wish me luck. Make sure I get through those 26 hours that are coming up. And thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to follow all my experiences as a new medical resident.